when the narcissist continues to pursue you. The narcissist is like a hunter. They pursue empaths for sport and for narcissistic supply. They love the chase. It excites them. It causes them to feel very eager and enthusiastic. Although they can also be very anxious and impatient. But they are very effective at pursuing their targets. They are often successful in producing their desired and intended result. And the reason why is because they lack empathy. They cannot understand or share your feelings. They cannot place themselves in your position. They are shame-based individuals who do everything they can to avoid reflecting on their shame. Which means that they can engage in wrong and foolish behavior without feeling bad about it. Which is how they are able to pursue you with such determination and persistence. They're not fully aware of the effects that the behavior is going to have on you. They don't think about the consequences of their actions. A normal person is going to have a cutoff point where they realize that they have gone too far where there is a limit beyond no further action is permitted or possible. But narcissists don't think that way. All they see is the prize. All they see is something valuable and useful to them. And they will risk everything in an all out effort to obtain it. They will take a big risk regardless of the possibility of losing everything. Because all they're thinking about is what they can get. They don't feel any regret or guilt. They're not anxious or troubled about any potential problems. When they're pursuing their target, they don't feel any worry. While a normal person would feel worry if they were getting into something new. But the narcissist doesn't feel any concern about it. It is not a matter of interest or importance to them. When the narcissist is pursuing a target, they will do a lot of things that a normal person will not do. They will do anything to get you because they want to drive out anyone who is competing for your attention. While a normal person wouldn't be so competitive, they're not going to compete with a narcissist for your attention. But the narcissist doesn't see anything wrong with it. They will do things that most people will not do, especially sexual things. When a person gets involved with a narcissist, they will end up doing things that they don't normally do. Things that they may not be comfortable or familiar with. And the narcissist isn't doing this because they want to be with you. They just want to make you addicted to them. They want you to be enthusiastic about them. They want to create an addiction. They want to make you dependent on them. Because they see that as a weakness. They see it as a disadvantage or fault that is going to help them control you. They want to change you. 
They want to see if they can make you do something that you said you wouldn't do. They want to make you change your mind. They see it as a challenge. And they do love a competitive environment. Because with their manipulation and control, they can then use it to flourish, to outdo everyone else. Because they're willing to go all out in situations where normal people wouldn't. And that's what makes them so successful. But it's always done in a reckless way where they are heedless of danger and the consequences of their actions. When they're pursuing their target, they don't care about compromise. You don't have to meet them halfway. You don't have to find a middle ground. They're not going to make any conflicting or opposing claims or principles. You can have it all your way, as long as you're willing to accommodate them, as long as you don't say no to them. While a normal person would have boundaries, they wouldn't make strong efforts to persuade or force them to do something. But narcissists will do this. They will push and provoke you to get the desired outcome or result that they want. When you are involved with a narcissist, it will be a constant fight or conflict where you are constantly struggling to achieve or resist something because they want to get the better of you. They want to be stronger than you. They want to claim ownership of you. They are predators and you are their prey. Narcissists always have the advantage in any situation they're in because they're always the ones who are coming onto you. They're the ones who are always trying to make progress or develop something with you. And you may not really like them in the beginning, but you accept it because they're so persistent. They continue firmly in their course of action in spite of difficulty or opposition. While acting like they are so honest and sincere. They may tell you that they just want marriage and children. They just want a family. And they do it in a way that shows such strong feelings and beliefs. That no one would ever believe that they could do this. If you told anyone what you've been experiencing with a narcissist, they would never believe you. They wouldn't be able to wrap their heads around the idea that the narcissist is faking all of this. Not when the narcissist is constantly begging you to do something or always reminding you of something. You end up being tricked into believing something that is not true. You become strongly attracted to them and start loving them without realizing that it's still just part of the game. It's just something that they engage in for amusement and fun. They're just doing it for supply. They're not really interested in building anything with you. They just notice the big pile of bricks and tools that you have and they want you to build something for them or they will just take your bricks and tools and get someone else to build it for them. But they are not committed to you. No matter what you think you've got with a narcissist, you are still replaceable. They can forget about you in an instant. But as long as they need you around, they will just use future faking. 
They will lie and promise something about your possible future in order to get what they want in the present. They engage in this imaginative game where they pretend to want something with you but they have no intentions of giving you anything because that doesn't fulfill them in any way. It does nothing for a narcissist. They cannot feel what you feel. But they understand that it has a powerful effect on you. So they induce these uncontrollable emotions within you. And make you indulge in daydreaming about something you desire. But they're making you fantasize about something that they're unable to fulfill. They make you feel a desire for something which causes you to deviate from reality. It causes you to depart from your established course where you're using your imagination, your former ideas, images and concepts of external objects that are not present to your senses. Because that's all it really is. You're eager and enthusiastic about the chance that something might be the case or that something might happen based on what they're telling you or what they're displaying to you. And this is what directs and attracts your attention. It takes you off your established course and attaches you to them. It gives them great satisfaction and enjoyment because you are following them with no intention of causing harm or offence without responsibility for or direct involvement in an event and yet with an inability to be unaffected by it you are suffering its consequences They know just how evil they are they know that they are disgusting and revolting. They show a deliberate and obstinate desire to behave in a way that is unreasonable and unacceptable. They engage in a way that is contrary to the accepted or expected standard or practice. They are sexually perverted and depraved. And they're fully aware of that. They know that they're trying to manipulate and control you. They know that they're playing a game. They know that there's something wrong with them. And while knowing just how disgusting they are, for them to be able to succeed in doing this to you and to hold your complete attention and keep you under their spell, it gives them a sense of enjoyment, amusement and excitement. It gives them pleasure. When someone is so persistent and they're constantly trying to pursue you, you need to be cautious. You need to think, what do you want? What do you want from me? When they're pursuing you, it puts them in a position of power. It gives them the ability to direct and influence your behavior and the course of events. And as we know, narcissists want power. They want to have power over the unsuspecting target. They want to be able to affect you because it makes them feel powerful. It makes them feel like they possess great power and strength. When the reality is that they don't.
which is why they need you to feel strong. They need to strip you of your power so that they can feel like they're in control. Narcissists are actually very weak, fragile people. And that is why they constantly pursue you. Because you are the source of their power. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.